What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reaction, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Mastodon. Yes, indeed. Mastodon fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Ben Guevara, and Ben wanted to see me react to the song by Mastodon called Hand of Stone. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So it's always if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Hang on, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Mastodon, surprise, surprise. And the video has 71,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. And of stone. That's all I got. <laughs> I do have some artwork up here. It does say Mastodon, so I'm going to assume we're in the right place. Look, this is the link that Ben gave me, all right? So if we're not in the right spot, don't blame me. Blame Ben, okay? All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this.
I think it's Mastodon Songs Go. I think this might be my favorite one I've heard on the channel. Um, number one, six eight. Love six eight. I love songs that are in six eight, and uh, this has been in six eight the entire time. There's been some great subdivision work. Um, between you know, straight, sticking with the straight eight though patterns that are in. Well, it's not straight eights. It's 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 a triplet feel. But you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five. Well, those are eights. You know, it, it, it's eight those within six eight. But there's also times when instead of doing those, uh, it's it goes into like a, I guess it'd be sex doublet. I guess that's what it would be, right? Uh, where it's doubled up. And instead of putting six in, it fits in twelve. That sounds really good. I like it. It's still six eight. It's just subdivided. Uh, to be to have a like a well it, without without switching the actual feel of the song, but giving it a double time sort of double time feel. Uh, as a result of just going from a triplet to a sextuplet, so that's really cool. I I like it. I like where it's going with that. It feels good. Um, the chordal progression really nice. It's not too hard to follow. It's not so far out in left field that you can't follow it. No, it's 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 pretty easy to follow. Uh, I like it. It's it's not predictable, but it, once you find the pattern, it's easy to follow. You just you just have to find the pattern first, and the pattern in this was not too hard to find. I had to listen to it a few times before I got before I got the the, the uh, melodic line. But once I got the melodic line, it was it's fine. It, it it sounds good. It makes sense. Um, vocally, it's pretty good actually. I I. I don't know if it's the best vocals I've heard from Mastodon, but I mean, I, it's definitely the most conducive to the song that I've heard. It, it feels right. It feels good. It feels like the vocals belong there. Um, I've heard more impressive vocal work from Mastodon, but I think this is the this is the song where the vocals actually fit the song the most as far as context. So I I like it. I like I like where it's going. Um. To be honest with you, I really don't have any complaints about this. I, I, I really don't, which is weird for a Mastodon song. <laughs> but so far, so good. Let's, uh, let's keep going here and let's see how the rest of this goes. Okay, I'm I'm not sure what compelled them to decide to switch to straight four for the last, you know, whatever that I think the last sixteen measures of the song it just switched to a straight four. Okay, I I don't know what compelled them to do it, but it sounded good. I mean, it didn't sound bad. It didn't sound, you know, janky. It 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 was actually, believe it or not, it was actually pretty smooth. It happened, and I was like, huh? Oh, it's four four. Oh, okay, it works. It works. Um, yeah, believe it or not, I have no complaints about this. None. Three thirty to boot as a short song. I like that. Um, hmm. interesting. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Mastodon with Hand of Stone. 
was a request from Ben Guevara. Okay, um, not a lot to talk about, but uh, I might surprise people. Starting off with the score is probably the biggest surprise. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.7. 7. Yeah, 7.7. 7. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first. 7.7. 7. What does that mean? Well, a 7.7 7 would translate to a really good scale rating, so I think it's a really good song. Uh, it would translate to four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. So we got 7.7, .7, really good scale rating, four to five stars, and a B plus letter grade. Now, how did I come to that score? Well, huh, so glad you asked. Out of all the songs I've heard on the channel from Mastodon, I think this is my favorite. I, I, I really and truly believe that. Um, number one, it's short. Short, sweet, to the point. Under that 346, you know, sweet spot. And this is under it. And I, I like that. Um, Deathy kind of left the crowd wanting more. And I, again, that's smart showmanship. So that, I can't knock that. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's too short. No, 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 you're missing the point. <laughs> you want to leave the crowd wanting more. You always want to let the crowd have that feeling of, I, you know, I, I got to come back. So that's, that's smart right there. Um... The musicianship, clean, no problems there. Everything sounded good, everything sounded accurate, everything sounded tight. Uh, drumming, guitar playing, bass playing, across the board, sounded fine. I got no issue with anything I heard there. Uh, vocally, this is one of the big ones for me. In the past, I've, I've been not the biggest fan of Mastodon's vocal. Uh, I've, I've just kind of, they kind of put off by their vocal work. Not in this case, in, in this case, the vocal work was actually very conducive to the song, and it, it was very well done to boot. Um, the grit and growl vocals always, always had melodic undertone within it. Those, those, it, it, that, 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 that melodic line underneath the grit and growl, it was always there. You heard notation clear as day. So I like that. That, that was a big, that's a big deal with me. If you're gonna do a grit and growl style through an entire song, and not have any clean vocal, then there better be that you know melodic undertone within that grit and growl. They had it this time, without question, all the way through. So I had no issue with that whatsoever. Um, six eight, the song, the entire song for the most part was in six eight. I liked it, even when they had, even when they doubled up on the pattern, uh, but with the subdivision, they went to, from a triplet to a sextuplet. You know, instead of you know one two three four five six, one two three four five six. They went and they doubled up on that. And to give it the illusion of double time, even though that didn't happen, that the stare was still accenting instead of every three, instead of on one and four, it was on one and seven. So that was fine. I, I, had, I had no issue with that at all. It sounded really good. Way, way, to, way to mess with our heads a little bit. No problem with that. Switching to four, four at the end. I, if I'm being honest, I had to think about that for a little bit. I'm still not sure why. I'm not. I'm not sure why they felt compelled to do that. But here's the thing. I was trying to imagine what if they had ended the song in just six eight, the way they've been going through the entire song, ended it like that. Comparatively, between the two, I gotta say, and I, I can't explain why. I, I like the, I like the four four ending over the six eight. Maybe it's because the six eight was just expected. Maybe that's why I like it more. Uh, the 6-8, it, it just felt like if they, if they had done 6-8, it would have it worked just fine for the end. If they had just stayed there and just let the 6-8, you know, finish out the song. I think it would have worked, no problem. I think it would have sounded fine, no problem. But having that 4-4 four, four come in at the end to finish out the song, number one, unexpected. So it definitely got your attention. Number two, uh, gave us some variance and taking a little bit of a different direction. To avoid that complacency, I like it. I do like it. I, I, I think it. I think that was absolutely the right call uh, to do it like that. And the thing is, like if they had done it, and if it had been really jarring, if it had felt out of place, and if it had felt unnecessary, and if it had been a distraction 
I think I would have been far more opposed to it. But they did so smoothly, and they did so cleanly, and they did it in such a great place. End of the song. I I, I can't find any fault. No fault in that whatsoever. So, no, I... I seriously, I, I think this is probably the favorite song from Mess that I've heard on the channel um, so far. Now, I, I know there's other requests for Mess on the queue. I think Ben gave me a few more. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to listen to more, and maybe one of those will top it. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. But as it stands right now, I'm giving this a really good score of 7.7, .7, and that's where we're going to stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 7.7, .7, which is a really good scale rating. Four to five stars in a B plus letter grade. Take your pick. I don't care whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoke. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job. And I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.